Hello, it's Fiona Fernandez. Get some lights happening. Welcome if you're joining me tonight. Just like to sit here and make some cards and chill, you know. It's good fun. Let's get my video going. So let me know if you're here. If you want to, you don't have to. Trying to get my video to enlarge. There we go. Let's make sure we can hear me. Let's double check that. It's always good to have sound. <laughs> sound? I can't hear it. <laughs> oh. It's always good to have sound, isn't it? I can't hear anything. Make sure that. Um, okay, what have I done? Turn that back on. Let's make sure I can hear it. Yeah, I can hear it now. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> I've had trouble with sound in the past, so I always like to check that when I start. So, welcome. Uh, if you're looking for my Stampin' Up shop, it's in there, fianafernandez.stampinupnet, and you'll find the Shop Now button on the left-hand side. There's lots of things in there, actually. There's my projects, so I've been putting some of my cards in there. You might have seen this one. I've got a package ready to go. So I just made this yesterday and I had done a previous one which is also in my projects and it just shows you the card and it has a I can add to cart so it gives you the list of things I used in it you don't have to add them all to your cart but if you want to it's quite easy and it's there it doesn't have my host code in there though so if you're purchasing under $250 worth of products I'd love it if you used my host code because it goes on to my workshop for the month and then the rewards that I get from that I give back to people. Hi Athena. I give back to my customers. So if you spend over fifty dollars in my store, my Stampin' Up store, I will give you a free gift. It has to be on products, not shipping. But tomorrow is free shipping, everybody. So uh, on orders over sixty-five dollars. So that's really exciting. It's only one day and I have put a post up today. I'll, and I've got one scheduled to go up tomorrow afternoon just to remind people that it's on. So if you were thinking of getting some extra things in the last chance sale even. Now these things that I used, um, Art in Bloom, the, if you buy them individually as a stamp set and individually as the dies, they're cheaper. So don't buy the whole bundle together. Bundles are always 10% off, which is great when there's no extra specials on. But when they're in the last chance sale like this, look for them individually because you'll get better value that way. And you just have to type in Art in Bloom. Um, I think the dies are called Bloom dies, and so now I have put them away. <laughs> anyway, so that was a really easy card to make. Uh, so I've just embossed it. So the embossing folder comes with the, um, the dies and you emboss it I actually put a video and everything in my newsletter so if you're on my newsletter list there's a list in there of what I did and I did do a video on this in Facebook last year I think it was last year I don't know what the date was I can't remember but I've put that into my newsletter for people to see how I did it all right hi Jill hi Di welcome thanks for joining me so good to see everybody here tonight so who's crafting anybody crafting with me tonight yeah, I love this one. I've had a request. I have some cards in a local shop, news agency, and I've been asked to do some with no sentiments. So I'm going to work on a few more tonight with no sentiments. And I'll get the other one I've made. I haven't photographed the other one. I fiddled around with it today. Get this one here. So I'm actually trying to use up a few old older things I've had in my stash that I've done when I'm doing lives I might have sampled something and I've just put it over there in my little box of things and so this one 
I ended up using the matte dots on that one. They matched the very vanilla, which was really nice. I'll bring that up a bit. And I've used that vellum, the shimmer vellum. Now I think the shimmer vellum is still, I've got my shop up in front of me so I can see if things are still for sale. Um, the Bloom, I'll just go back to that other one for one second. I've got that up. Bloom Hybrid Embossing Folder is this one. Um, use just the dies in the Bloom Hybrid Embossing Folder to cut out images or just or use just the embossing folder to emboss cardstock or use them together to cut and emboss at the same time. The delicate floral imagery looks beautiful on so many projects. So that comes together and it's called the Bloom Hybrid Embossing Folder. It's $34.20 instead of $57 so that's a really good sale. And the other one, let me just type that in, it's called Art in Bloom I think. Just got to find that one. Has anyone got this one already? It's called Art in Bloom Photopolymer Stamp Set which means they're clear, you can see through them. Uh, $27 instead of $45 so buy them individually is a great value and that one's got the little extra pieces like this in it and there's a dotty one as well so it gives you quite a few different things to use I love it I used colored pencils on this one and I colored I put Wink of Stella in the centers of the flowers there you can just see it <laughs> it's a bit hard to pick up on there and I love those butterflies the butterflies are carrying over but this set is not it is retiring. Hi Amanda. Hi Jill. Did I say hi Jill already? Yes I did. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Let's pop that over there. Yeah so th now this one's using some of this one which is carrying over to the new catalogue. Forever flourishing dies but they'll be individual items so you'll still be able to buy these individually. It came out I think the year before as a sweet I was just I just love it and of course don't use it enough <laughs> don't use anything enough could keep using them but I, they're really gorgeous look at them so I've used that die out of that one and that die there is out of this one as well but things go together so well I just love that it's really awesome so this one on this card the embossing folder is an old one I, I think that's away in the cupboard but there is one you could use instead of that one that's the little um, is it? this one the stripes and splatters that's carrying over so you could use that stripey one if you wanted to do something similar to this or any embossing folder anyway but I just had that in my stash like I said and I just used a dauber to do the let's take the envelope out to do these bits of colour around it I just wanted to I don't know, to add something to it, it was just to you on its own. The little stamps out of this stamp here, so that's out of here in the Forever Fern Suite. See this embossing folder? You could easily emboss a card that way and then that way. You need to do it on your big embossing machine though, not the small one. Not the mini. And you just do two lots. See, that would work quite well and you get that lovely rustic that would give you a more of a rustic look Something like that or even you know using that splattery one behind this again this is one I had before which was a plank one they don't have the plank one anymore but the timber one is still available and that's carrying over as well so there's you know lots of options to choose from Got my timber one out what have I done with it <laughs> I got the timber one out where did I put it I've got a few things on the desk today because I've been working on a few cards and things. And of course I can't find the Timber one now. I can show you. No, it's not in that catalogue. So hang on, just let me look in my box for a minute. Um, timber. Here it is. Timber. I put it away. Oh my goodness. This is the Timber one. So it's very similar to this one here. This has just got lines on it for planks. That's the Timber embossing folder. And of course I just had a thought you could no, no I don't think the lines are far enough apart <laughs> use that to put lines on it but it might look funny they'd be closer together than the lines on this one ah you can case them Jill go for it anybody <laughs> I don't mind it's the joy of all this isn't it sharing and 
um, I was chatting to the sister this afternoon and she helped me choose these the, the bling on there I wouldn't have thought to put those on there and she's like oh pearls and I thought oh I don't have pearls that'll match but hang on a minute I've got this bling and it looks like pearls that worked so I just love the collaboration and doing things together like this just makes it you know I wouldn't have thought of that so it's really nice having someone else there <laughs> that did think of it <laughs> so that's some ideas for you that's what the timber one looks like out out of the packet it's got beautiful texture and lovely knotted wood this one had gone from the catalogues and then they brought it back in I think the last mini catalog they went you all asked for this so we're going to give it back to you so it's in the new catalog which is great we love the timber look lovely and again to get the lines to look more actually we might just emboss a piece because you know I love embossing <laughs> That's what I want to put that one in the awesome box so we don't get too distracted. Let's Im I'm, I'm into it vin very vanilla tonight, today, so I'll just grab a bit of that. Let's just get warmed up and box something. Move something out of the way. So that one's not put together, this one is. I'll just put a bit of that. That's that linen thread linen thread it's called which is very nice and I just stuck it around the back of the card with some mini glue dots hi Wendy welcome thank you and then I just used the liquid glue to stick it on and I just put a bit of liquid glue on the back of this one and used my little silicon mat oh, it's hiding here somewhere so if you haven't used a silicon mat before where is it? not too far nothing's too far away <laughs> it's all around me silicon craft sheet they're great fluffy just wipe it off wipe the fluff off <laughs> but it's really good for gluing because you don't the glue doesn't stick to it like it'll just rub off so I put that upside down on it and I just I didn't actually get any glue on here but it's handy in case you do so I just put a very thin line up the centers a little tiny bit on some of the leaves but I've left a few loose because I like that look like that nice. right let me find my I don't know if I've used this one with you all. I'll just get a piece out of here. I've got a couple of other things to show you after too. A couple of ideas swimming around my head. <laughs> I'll just show you now and then I won't forget, will I? So I've got this out as well to play with, maybe. We'll see what happens. But I had a look online to see what was on sale. So because there's free shipping tomorrow... <laughs> people might want to buy something and they'll go what will I buy so this one is handmade for you now this is a good one if you're selling Stampin' Up cards you need to have the Stampin' Up words on there copyright Stampin' Up so we have to do that and it's got little hashtags and things like that it's got a little mannequin thing you can take the words off like if you wanted to use that one the scissors without the Stampin' Up on it you could just not ink that piece there and use it separately but the thing I was thinking with this one was all about stitching so just show you what I had out let's pop these out of the way for a second oh these genial gems are on special too they're eight dollars forty instead of fourteen dollars they're retiring so I thought I might use them tonight on something <laughs> and these stitch leaves I might have talked about these the other week so these are thirty dollars fifty instead of sixty one dollars they don't have the stamps that go with them anymore but these are still available or they were earlier when I looked and they're great look at the leaves and they're the leaves I've used on that other card well I haven't used them yet I've cut them out and it has this lovely stitched piece here I think I used that the other week didn't I on something but I've got a couple of so they're retiring the stitched leaves but the these stitched things are still carrying over so you could you know if you wanted to get leaves to go on things stitched grab them now while they're still there because these are stitched and I thought they work well with a stitched with love you know handmade for you things like that so I just thought that was a nice combination I might do something with that afterwards we'll see how we go because <laughs> you know my mind's going oh <laughs> everywhere I've got something else over there too but we'll get to that in a second let's emboss this and just, I'll just 
trim it down to the size for the front of a card. Have I gone crooked again already? Doesn't take much to get me crooked, does it? <laughs> Bumping things. Um, so I think I'll just go to 10 because I like that size. That one over there. And to 14.35. And then we can emboss that piece. Put my little mat down. I'll take a few that when I'm doing this so it doesn't move too much. That's good. Now, so this is a thick one, it's a 3D embossing folder, so you need to take these mats off. And look up your thing used with 3D. So we want the big brown one. Number four, here it is. And we just put our card stock in. So with this one, because it's quite a big folder, you could put it in either way, depending on how you want your wood to look. So I think I'll go this way. Uh, let's have a look. We'll just look at the card. And that's the other thing, you can look at the card in there and go, oh, I like that. Or, go that way. Um, I really don't know, maybe I'll go this way. Just doing it for fun, because I like embossing. And then I'll show you how to colour it a bit. Always put your hinge edge in first. I think that's fairly straight when you're embossing. Just get it started, start rolling. So that one goes through really easily. I just I'm just sitting here <laughs> watching the handle go round and round. <laughs> Pop, sorry, I forgot to warn you. If you got all your pods in, be careful. Okay, so we'll just pull that out again. I do like it because it's so instant. I think that's what I like about this. I've got electronic machines to do things, but I haven't used them a real lot because I like the instantaneous effect. So that's how it turns out with that woody look. And then I'm just going to grab my daubers. And of course, you could use daubers or brushes. If you want something lighter, use your brushes. Well, for me, I'm lighter with brushes, but you can be you can be as heavy-handed as you like with the brushes. Look at all these. This is a new ink colours. <laughs> I was practicing stamping them all the other week. That was my new stamp set that I got. And I was practicing stamping on the line here. Look, these, this paper you can buy this grid paper. That's good to know. Just put it on this side. So I've got lots of daubers in my box that have already got colour on them. I'll just grab one. Colours that I've been using. Oh, I'll just go with this one. Let's just have it. So this has got a bit of, they're quite colourful. Sometimes they have a bit of colour on them, sometimes they don't. I just, with the daubers, I just run them sideways on it. So it's not really pressing very hard. But if you want a little bit more working for you. Can you see it? I'll bring it up. Bring it up a bit. If I try and zoom in it, it doesn't always work. I'm just running that across like that. With a coloured dauber that I already have coloured. And of course you can add more ink if you want to. really need to on that one. Let's go through all my daubers and find some other colours. I don't know what colour that one is. You can't tell sometimes. It looks one colour sometimes and it comes out as something else. So just be careful with daubers.
and get the drift <laughs> a bit more what if that one's got enough on it oh yeah that's got something on it <laughs> So I'm not getting inks really down into the groove too much. Just going over the top of it. Oh god, Athena's making a few cards. I'll just have a look through my <laughs> messages while I'm standing up here. buried look on there. I'll we'll just do the brushes as well. Let's do some brushing too. Let's grab a brush. So I've got a bit of that colour. That now the brushes won't do the same thing. We've got to ink up the brushes a bit more. Well yeah there's not much on that at all. So I might just get some something to go with all this. <laughs> something to go with that. What goes with that? What about some bumblebee? Oops, it is. He's big as all my ink pads. No. I was getting ready for my class and I had them all bundled up together to keep my colours separate so I remembered what I used. But that might change tonight. So I've just got to get something off my ink pad. Got a little piece of something on there, a bit of paper or something. Just get that off. always go onto the paper with this. See what the difference is when we do it that way. See how it's more, um, it's sort of the colour's smoother and this, when I do it with the daubers you get more of the colour on the top of it than with the brush. That's what I'm at. aiming at showing you. Let's grab another colour. Throw them all around. I know what colour I love. Cajun Craze. I can use that with my yellow one. Ooh, what's happening there? Ooh. This is going to be. <laughs> just use a bit more of that down here. Just to smooth it up a bit. So we've got quite a lot of wood grain look at the bottom. And it's gone smoother towards the top. So if you want that like the bottom. I've got glitter on my cabin craze. <laughs> I wonder what I was doing. <laughs> Must have been something else. Um, let's just see what this one's like. Oh, there, that's a yellowy one. Let's just do a bit more yellow on that. Ah, there you go. Look. See how it grabs the top? It makes it more defined on the top. Because the brushes go right down deep into it. See all the gaps when you're looking on the screen. <laughs> we'll cover it up with something in a minute. You won't notice it so much. There we go. We've got a piece of wood grain effect. Not what I was expecting tonight. <laughs> There you go. So I've got this one. So I've stamped on this one in earlier with that little stamp. This little stamp here. 
So I did stamp a solid stamp and then I stamped onto it and then off a few times. So you've got a few variations of colours. Drag the ink pads over an embossing folder. Oh, that'd give you something different, wouldn't it? I should do it on the back. The back's smoother. Mm, that's not a bad idea, Jill. I've got to do it now. Hang on. Just get a little piece. Actually, I might have a piece already in box. Got this. Oh, sorry. But it might. Sorry about that. There's some things we played with another day. Do you remember that? Um, let me just find another piece. A few in here. That one might be too ridgy. I've got some of this one, which is an old embossing folder. This one. I don't know if this one's still available. Let me have a look. Embossing. This was the embossing folder from, let me think. <laughs> oh, is it still in there? I don't think it is. Mm, I can't see it. No, I think it's gone now. But that's all we can look at that. Let's try that on an ink. Let's just try it on an ink pad. What colour? Someone pick a colour. <laughs> sorry, Jill. Sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. It's fun. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Anyone pick a colour yet? First person in. Play with this a bit. So I'm trying to make simple cards without sentiments. I quite like that. Or something like that. Something like that. Not sure how it's going to look yet. No, I think I like it with that one down that way. Crumb cake. Okay, you're in. Crumb cake it is. Let me just find my crumb cake. Crumb cake. Look, I've got an old crumb cake. These are the old style. I think they'll just work the same there. There we go. Let me move that out of the way. I want to get ink all over that. Just get some cards and paper. Radio, here we go. You ready? Whoa, <laughs> look at that. You're right. You can drag it over. <laughs> that gives it a totally different look, doesn't it? It's best to try and keep it flat, though, I think. Now we're going to have to do a few more of those another day. And you could do different colours too, couldn't you? Now I've probably gone a bit hard there and I've got a few lines but I really don't mind. Wow, look at that. Whoa, whoa. Cool. Let's go another colour. Should we go another colour? Mm, something light. Or I could brush in between it, couldn't I? Where's my brushes? What's on this brush? A bit of purple. I just like playing. Oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> got ideas now. It's good fun once the ideas start rolling in, isn't it? So I'm only going to go to there because when I cut that off, It'll be to about there. If I look at my chart here, I've even got centimetres here. Ten, ten, about there. So I've got a really, really subtle bit of purpley colour in there. Oops. 
Sorry. Thank you. Sorry, everyone. Thank you. I stood up to put the brush back. I've got a card over here. Oh. We trim that down. spare piece so you could even use that on a card like that or under something I'm wondering what to do with this one. Oh did I cut it too short? What happened then? <laughs> it was already too short. Oh well I must have gone the wrong way. Never mind. Just go with it. We'll go a bit smaller. I was wanting the thing this way. Um, if I go there, I've got to take off a bit more there. We'll come in a bit. Alrighty, so normally it would be ten and a half. Nine and a half is one. We will go to eight and a half. That's right, isn't it? I double check like this. <laughs> yep, that's where I want it. There, now we've got two strips to play with. <laughs> There's no right or wrong, you know. It's just fun creation. Get that. Key dokey. I'll put that on there. And I'm just thinking, 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 thinking. I'll show you something else while we're thinking. So in the new catalogue, coming out soon, 3rd of May, how exciting is that? Now this is a card I've started putting together with one of these leaves out of that stitch dies, stitch leaf dies, but this thing here is out of the new catalogue. These, and this is a bundle. So this is a packet of vellum, and there's these patterns, there's few of those, few of those, few of those, and then there's blank vellum, so the, it's already cut up. So the size of it, if you look on that card, is like that. So you can see it on there. And there's a whole lot of blank ones as well for you to use and make your own. So that is pretty cool, and that would work very nicely with the Sun Prince, which is also a new one. And of course it'll really go nicely with the Forever Fern as well. So this is the Nature's Prince. So this is, I bought the whole suite for this one. This is called the Sun Prince. And I think I'll do a class on this too. I might do my May class on the Sun Prince. Prince dies. So there's some dies. There's a little sentiment one. There's all little leafy ones. There's this one here, which you can do the, what do you call those round things? Wreaths. There's a fern and there's a folder as well, embossing folder. Let's not forget that. <laughs> there's an embossing folder there. So I'm not going to play with all that tonight, but I wanted to show it to you because it was so gorgeous. And that's got a bigger splotch in it, see? So you could use the bigger splotch and the smaller splotch, you know? I love that they put the splotch stamps in things. That's really good. So it's got a nice little flower. It's got some of these leaves here which are sort of similar to that one that is a die cut out of the Forever Fern. Look, it would go with it very nicely. So that's just an idea anyway. And there's some matching paper which I've shown you previously. So with this one, I was just thinking about some vellum to go under there. Not this vellum, but I just want to show you that as well. Because I'm going to use it on that one. So you could use this to stamp your own vellum, which we might have to do that if we get time. What time is that? Oh, we're going well for time. Look at that. Maybe we should make a card and then I can say I've finished one. <laughs> I think I'll do this one, hey? What do you think? So I'm trying to do them a little bit quicker and easier at the moment. Now, yeah, hang on a minute. Before I glue that down, you know what I'm like. Glue it down, then I want to tie something to it. I was thinking I'd put some of this. Had that under there. 
So this is pale papaya underneath it all. And this is the pale papaya vellum. That's what I was looking up for you before. Totally forgot. Sorry about that. Vellum. I think I talked about it the other week as well. It's called the 2021 to 23 in colour shimmer vellum and it's $16.80 at the moment. It's retiring this vellum and it's shiny. So it's very nice. So if you like it and you want some, tomorrow is a good day to buy it <laughs> when there's free shipping. Now I was thinking if I put that off to the side because <coughs> I like things like that. And then put that over there. It would probably sit better if I put it underneath, I think. Let's just glue that piece on first. So I've gone too close to the edge, haven't I? Oh dear. I didn't want to go that close to the edge, Fiona. <laughs> oh, I might get away with it. Hang on. Sort that one there. And hopefully we're not too close to the edge. Is it straight? <laughs> it's really hard to see if that's straight. No. Very tricky. Hang on, let's get a ruler. Good to keep a ruler handy. What are we up to there? I can't tell. Hang on. 18. Oh, I wasn't far off. So if you use the Tombow, you can... You should be able to move it a little bit before you stick it down hard. I think that's okay, actually. Just over 18, smidge over. Yep, that's good. Stick that down. I'm going to put that on there. So I'm going to use a tiny bit of glue under the black bits. Just under the darker a dot here and a dot there. You don't need a heap of glue on this stuff. I just don't want to see it all through it. Then I'm going to use my gold. I don't know whether to put a bow on it or not. You know, I like bows, but I'm not sure whether I just want a simple line. Yeah, I think a simple line might be better. We can always add a bow if we decide we want one. I'm just going to put this around here. I'm not using this glue. That won't hold it. So it's tear and tape. So you know what? We'll just cut that off. <laughs> and because I'm cutting an edge that's going to be stuck on the back, I'm not worried about using my new fancy, <laughs> my new, my new scissors. <laughs> Bought new scissors. Paper snips so that I could cut ribbon with it. I just want it about there, there. So I'm just holding that 
Got the tight. Can you believe it? My thing went off the edge after all that. That's okay though. Oh, that's right. I went to the edge of the card, didn't I? Forgot what I was doing then. Why have I gone over the edge? That's why. Should be all good. Hope it's all good. <laughs> Let's have a look. Make sure your card opens the right way. <laughs> right. Yeah, that'll be alright. Something a bit different. So I'm still deciding whether to put something else on there with more of this, but I'm going to use those little dots. Where do I put the little dots? Here they are. I'm going to use some of these. More bling. A bit of bling. Oh, there's some that are loose. So I could use the green ones. Add a bit more colour. We'll just stick with the ones that match. I love these. They're so cute. But they are going. So. I'd like to take the bottom off. So I can see them on the card. But I often put bling everywhere when I do that. <laughs> carefully. There we go. There we go. See I like to do this so I can have a look at it. Maybe I'll go that way. I hadn't really decided where I wanted this yet. Let's play with a bit of this. Do we want an extra piece on here? Because what I see sometimes is people just tying it in a knot, and so not actually a bow. Just a knotted piece. Let me have a look. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> da -da -da. That look like. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Do you like that? Not. You know what else you could do? I love playing with ribbon. You could have it swiveling around. through a bit. It's not sitting the way I want it to though. I like them like that. Get rid of that for a second. Put that piece there. And then the back. Here we go. Come back here. Okie dokie. 
see how that all moves look I love that I don't want it all to be even I want it to be all over the place have to secure it with a bit of glue when I work out where it's going put that in there that's nice isn't it oh yeah I think that'll be enough. I'll just tie that one through there. Do we need any more loops? Ooh. Maybe one more. How's your card making going? Anyone else making cards apart from Athena? Oh look, now that one's gone curly. Ooh. <laughs> Anything can happen here. I wasn't expecting that to flip around. Ooh. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. All right, I'll come back to that in a second. I just got to stick that other bit on the back. Oops, the base is <laughs> ripped the, the glue off. Okay, I'll just put this one down with my piece of glue on my finger. <laughs> Do anything left on the paper? <laughs> Something left on the paper? Right, there we go. I'll fiddle with that in a second. Okay, okay. We found a few forgotten kits. Oh wow, that's great. There's some new kits out today. So if you're looking at the kits collection, all the new ones that have come out. If you want to know the difference, uh, they are $41, but they have, one of them has a tin in it, so that adds to the value, and the other one has two, um, glue, uh, what do you call them, ink spots in it. So they cost a little bit more than the other ones. Don't panic about this, it's not finished yet, okay? <laughs> oh, you saw them already. Yeah, they look really nice. The robot one's cute. Alright, let me fiddle with this for a second. Work out what we're doing. So this is a little bit fiddly doing the ribbony thing, but you know, I think it's worth it because I like doing ribbony stuff. All right, pull that one down there. I will have to use a little bit of this, just the tiniest little dot. Now it might take a little while stick with this one because it's a bit more metallic you know 
We'll just hold it there for a second. When I use the, the other twine, it doesn't take very long to stick. This one might take a bit longer. I love the look of it though. Sticking. Looks like it's sticking. Oh, except I just bumped it because that's sticking out. Do a bit of plan B in a minute. I'm not sure what that is yet. We could always use a half a glue dot actually underneath that. Tossing it, whether to do that. Maybe. I found a glue dot sitting out here that I didn't use. There it is, look. Oh no, that must have been the one that got stuck on a card the other week. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'm just going to use half of it. I think the full one will be too much. Okay, I'll just snip that off. I'm just going to put this piece back on my paper for a minute. I should put it under there. Use this little tiny piece off my scissors. Do a bit of surgery here. Just push that underneath. Pull that one in. And that way that'll hold that end there nicely. See that's stuck now. Right, we might use the other piece that we had. This one looks a bit mangled now, but it's okay. It'll still work. And put that under this end. Just so I can pull that end in tight there. Wash it in nicely so that it sits underneath the ribbon. You don't want it sticking out. You don't want a glue dot sticking out anyway. Right. Oh no, it looks it's actually sitting quite nicely on its own. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I just love ribbony stuff like that. Yeah. Just put a tiny bit of glue there. Move that down a bit. Just wiping the excess off. I'm wiping on my fingers. It just comes off. <laughs> Squiggly line. Hold it long enough, did I? No. So much for my quick card. <laughs> Got carried away, didn't I? Uh, it's quick without the ribbon. <laughs> Sorry, I bumped the thing. So once you stuck your ribbon down, twine, twine. This is the Simply Elegant Trim. So beautiful. Just gives it a little bit of snazzy, snazzy look. That one doesn't want to stick. I probably took too much of the glue off. Just 
just wondering whether to move that one a bit. I think that'll be alright. I might just put a little bit under here where I put my leaf in. Get a bit on there and then stick my leaf under there. It just takes a little bit longer because the glue has to dry. But don't want excess glue around. Just use a little tissue. And again if that doesn't stick down you could put a glue dot. I'll leave it to sit for a while I think and see how it looks after a while. I'm happy with that. It's different. <laughs> And I'll just put a little one of these on. Oh, I don't know whether to. No, I don't think I'll do the green. I think I'll stick with that. This colour. So that's a. Uh, it looks like pale papaya anyway, doesn't it? And soft succulent. I'm not sure whether they're meant to be those colours. Where are we? Genial gems. Doesn't say. Oh, I've got a few odd bits over here. Hang on. I'll put them back in the packet. Put them back. Another day. But you've got two different sizes in here. Mm. Might put something else under that too. Work out where to put my genial gems. We'll just stick a bit of glue under here. Squash that out a bit so it's not a great big blob. Could be right once it dries, I think. How's that big guy? Yep, that's going well. Okay, that one's well, that one's good. I'll fiddle with that once everything's dry. And I think I'll just use one of these. Oh. Tossing up where to stick my gems. I've got the big one there. Sure, whether I want one there. What does that look like? What does that look like? Are my gems in the right spot? I'm not sure if that one's too high. Well, there, I think it's okay. It's pretty. Just wondering whether to put a bit of glue under that one while we're on it all. You like the muted tones? Thank you. Looks fine. Thank you. Just put a tiny piece of glue here. Just hold that one down for a second.
cool, aren't they? So I quite like this vellum. Better make some of my own in a minute. <laughs> what time is it? Night thirty. Might put that to the side. It should dry. Could put something on it, I suppose. I just love doing stuff with ribbony stuff. In my class on Saturday, one of my cards has got some twine. Love it. Something a bit different too, not just the same old street. Right, let's put all these back. Oh, actually, I'll leave them out because I might use them again in a second. We'll just put that one over there to dry on the computer. I might do that one later because I'd already started that one. That one can wait. You've sort of got the idea of what I'm doing with that. Put that one down there with my leaves. Not sure if I'll get to the stitch stuff tonight, but I might do some tomorrow. So we've got this one and this one. I'm not sure what colour base to put that on. I wonder if we could put it on. A... Be nice to put it on an in colour, wouldn't it? I'm not sure if it'll go. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? That might be nice on a bumblebee. Got some bumblebee over here. Isn't it? Let's see what it looks like. I don't know whether to go light, dark or light. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure about that. I think maybe the darker. Darker colour. What else have we got? Got some evening evergreen. I sort of feel like I need a bit of something else behind that. I might grab that other vellum. That nice printed vellum. I'll go right back. Gotta go and get it off my shelf. And this is carrying over too. Not sure if it'll be too much on there. Have a look. Oops, I dropped a bit. Just needs something behind it, I think. There's a few different ones in this pack too, which is really good. You've got the white on the vellum and the black print on the vellum. See that one looks like a map. Oh I don't know. No I'm not liking that now. No 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 that didn't work. <laughs> okay plan C. I didn't have a plan, did you notice that? There's no plans around here. Oh yes there is. Plan to have fun. <laughs> Alright. What will we do with this one? Let's cut out some bits and pieces. Sure about that colour. It's just not grabbing me. Um, what's all I got out? Just wondering about the Cajun craze, maybe. Hmm.
shovel and card stops. Card stocks on the other side of the room. It's not too far away though. I've got Il Espresso. See, I like the Cajun crates. What do you think? Cajun crates? to have a card handy. <laughs> All right, let's try that. And I'm going to grab my new dice. it up a little bit. At least a bit of the older than a bit of the new. I wonder what that would look on the mic on there. This is the new set that's coming out in the catalogue. Now of course you could make one of these up out of these if you wanted to. And this is in the Forever Flourishing dies. I might just use that one. Move that up there. Now these ones have a die to cut that out, that stamp. So these are all red rubber. Oh, I've used one already. Heartfelt, thank you. And this one here has got die cuts. So they've all got die cuts, which is really handy. And a flower. Thinking what colour to do that one out of, or whether to do it out a bit of a bit of that vellum. While I'm on that vellum, let's see. Pale papaya might look nice, or soft sucking. There we go. Um, what's that? Evergreen. Evening Evergreen. Just, just, just a I'm in that packet. <laughs> that might go behind there and match the colour I've got in there. Yes. Okay, so the other colour that comes in this packet, of course, is that lovely polished pink. Just cut out one of each. I'm not sure. Face plate number three. I'm going to cut one out of this. Oh look at that, that, <laughs> that worked out well, exactly the right size. Watch your ear buds, watch your ears. Sure it cut. Oh, that went all funny there. What happened there? Oops. 
just see if it cut it. So if it didn't, I'll have to put it back in. It looks like it did. So, where's my little brush? Let's get the little brush. So this little brush comes with a little foam mat, which is very handy. Where did I stick it? If you can find it. <laughs> where did I put my foam mat? Oh, I moved things the other day. Tidied up. Uh oh. Can't see my phone map. Here it is. You can be too far away. Because <laughs> everything's not too far away. But this is really handy. You're just getting bits out. It's quite finicky this one. Not too bad. Out fairly well. Let's give it a really good rub. And sometimes you have to put them back through. That one there doesn't want to come out. So you can sort of pull at it a fair bit, It'll be a bit rough with it, but you still got to be really careful at the same time. most of the way. Just this little piece here. This is a little pokey tool. That little one there didn't want to come out but you, if I'd run it back through the machine it would have come out okay. Right, that's that piece. So keep that for something else. And then you've got all these little pieces. To pop out as well. Some of them are just lines so don't worry about those they're meant to be there to indent it. See they look like a bit of embossing. So I'm not going to try and pull them out. <laughs> Some of these got to come out. A couple more. Yeah it cut pretty well actually. First run. It's not real thick, it's just vellum. I think I've got them all out. Isn't that gorgeous? Put them in. Oh, let's have a quick look at this. Put that out here. Scrape your little pieces off the cutting mat so that you've got nothing left on there. Doesn't it? But I think I'll do the green one as well just to see what it looks like. Just because we can. Then I'll have some ready for another card. So I'm going to go right across this time and then come back. Wind the handle, it goes pop, and then come back the other way. And come off very nicely. Just, do I need this for anything else? I'm trying to think if I need to cut anything off. a bit easier because I went through twice. See they're just popping straight out. That's a bit better. I got them all. I think I got them all. <laughs>
So I'm just scraping that with my little pokey tool. So this is the previous version of the pokey tool. The take your pick tool is the current one. With the little pokey ends on it. I just keep that one with my embossing. Oh, that's pretty. And see that would look nice on this one as well. Yeah. You could even use both. No idea what I'm making. It looks pretty. It's a very nice wreath. Maybe like that. I, think I like them together. And I'm not sure what else we're putting on there yet. Because I wasn't going to do a sentiment, was I? No, it's a challenge. <laughs> I actually quite find it e easy to do some cards without sentiments. And then other ones like this, I feel like, oh, I need a sentiment. Or oh, we could just stamp a flower. Why don't we do that? Challenge. That's my challenge tonight. No sentiments. <laughs> Who else makes cards without sentiments? Anybody? I'll just put the label on this stamp. Just remember to put a bit of fluff from your... Oh, not a hair. My hair's a really, bit of fluff on your stamp label. Sometimes. We do it all the time. Okay. So it's interesting. I, I do it occasionally, but I guess I'm really focusing on no, no sentiments at the moment. It's like, oh, it's a bit tricky. I'll do that one on a bit of the, what do you call that colour? Very vanilla. Put my little box somewhere. Let's see my box. That's right. It's right in front of me. My little box is right in front of me. <laughs> Here it is. I've got these little bits of card in them. I'll try and find one that's the right size. This is where I put all my little off cuts. No, I haven't got one of very vanilla in there. Okay. So we'll find one over here in the very vanilla packet. So I've been putting my bigger off cuts back into the pack. Like this. I'm not sure if that's big enough. So I want it big enough to sit in there. And we've got a little die cut here to work out how to put that back in. Got a die here. Well, that fits on there. I'll try that then. on my ink pad yesterday. Looks like a nice little stamp. It's got a little bit of detail in the middle there. We should stamp that first on my paper because I haven't used it yet. There you go. Let's do a few and then clean it off.
go. Oh, we've got a nice lot of detail in it that time. And then if you wanted to colour it in, it'll... <laughs> you, you don't need to colour it darker because you've got all that detail in there. through the mini. Stand up, make sure I've got that in the right spot. see sometimes so there's new magnetic plates coming out for the big embossing machine they'll be hopefully available they're telling us when the catalogue goes live on the 3rd of May the mini one's not ready yet though so the magnetic plates are great because that holds them in place better than you're having to line it all up and flower now do we need more than one flower just wondering now whether I need another one two flowers Maybe just one. We'll see what everyone says. <laughs> That's cute, isn't it? I'm going to colour the flower in a minute. I'll do the flower. Might get a bit of the Cajun. I've got some of that in the pencils, I think. Cajun craze. It's in pencil pack number two. Assortment two. Just to bring some of that in. From the outside card. Oh, I love that. Love these pencils. So smooth. And I'll better do something else in the middle there. I've got both sets of pencils because I feel like I need them. <laughs> Maybe there's a bit of yellow in there. So that is Daffodil Delight in the middle. They've just got a nice mixture. And I've put dots on these ones and a dot on the box so I know that those ones go back in the box and I don't have to remember. They've got all the colours written on the outside there which is really helpful. And what was I looking for there? Crushed Curry. I 
I'm going to put a bit of that in there. Oh yeah, that works. And see, you don't have to be able to colour in really well. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> rubbing it on. Looks fine. And then I get my little blender brush. Yeah, I love them, the pencils. And they're one of the first things I bought when I started doing this. The pencils, because it gave me such a variety of colours. So if you're just starting out, it's a great way to go. I'll just get my blender pen. So these comes, the blender pens come in a pack of three, I think. Oh, sorry, I'm going to yawn. Anyone else yawning? <laughs> Ink and colouring in there coloring tools let me have a look let's see if I went to the right spot old oh, blender pens there you go I went to the right spot on the website coloring tools it's under if you're looking for it blender pens and it, they're $21 and they come in a pack of three I think where does it say it show more it says show more three acid free silane free pens there we go I'll just use that to blend the colours a little bit in there. And don't worry about the look of this one. It's not really doing anything. I mean, it's it looks stained, but it's not. And then when you're finished, you just run it on your thing out like this and get rid of the extra bit of colour out of it. See, that's what I've done. It still looks marked, but it, it doesn't come off. Okay. and store them flat like that I just keep it up on my shelf oh it's a beautiful picture on the website where you look for them in the shop actually uh, they've used similar colors that I just used that's interesting it's a cute little flower isn't it I think I'll put it under there oh I've got another flower I didn't see <laughs> totally focused on the top flower I think we'll just do this one. There we go. And put a tiny bit of green on that one there. Well, that went a bit bright. Oh, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Lifter works on there. There's a colour lifter for the blends. But I don't know if it works on pencil. We'll find out in a second. Oh, it doesn't matter. A bit of green. If it goes astray, does it? Looks a bit bright there. Good. Put a bit of yellow out there. Put a bit of that crushed, crushed curry over it. Turn it down a bit. There we go. That worked. <laughs> okay. I think that works. Just looking at it, is, is it? What do you think? A bee or a butterfly would be nice on there. Hmm. Would be, wouldn't it? I love those butterflies. I've got to say, I love the butterflies. Alrighty, let's get our bling box out. So the butterflies can't be too far away. <laughs> the bees won't be far away either. I'll find the other bling box for all the blings that are um, like the bees. These ones, you know. Let's 
have a look, see which one we like better. As soon as I open the packet, <laughs> I can't get the packet open. <laughs> Here we go. I know that. Got a few bumblebee trinkets because we're the busy bees. Got to have little bees. Bees or butterflies? I like the bee. I was thinking we could use a bit of the. I'll take another bling. The green bling. And this one. A bit of green bling. B, B, B. Okay, everyone, it's bees. Bees it is. And do we want one bee or more than one bee? And I was wondering whether to use this, but I'm now thinking that clashes with that. Yeah, I think that clashes. I think if I hadn't used the Evening Evergreen, it would have looked all right. We could put one in, mm, I don't know about one in each corner. to stick it together yet. I could put one in there and one in there. This one be. At the top. Do we need ribbon? I'll put all this stuff out of the way. for the gold twine again to match the bee. <laughs> you know, if you really wanted to get finicky, you could thread this through. <laughs> you could thread it through things. I threaded some ribbon through the other day into the, one of the doilies. The new ribbon fits through the doilies really nicely. A little bow around the flower. A little bow. That should be interesting. It's not going the way I want it. <laughs> it sort of is. I'm just thinking about that. Through there. What do you think? How about that? And then I'll stick it all together. I think that'll work. And then we've got our little bee at the top. Let's 
do it. Let's get some glue on our thing. It'll look better once we stick it down. The glue's getting a bit to the end. Let's just give it a shake. Shake and a little squeeze. Put a bit more glue on this to really hold it down because I want to make sure it sticks when it's embossed like that. Make sure you get your card open the right side. Just make sure you've got that centered best you can. I think it is. Looks a bit off. It'll be fine. Let's give it a good push. They're sitting together quite nicely. Well, they were until I just threw it off to the table. <laughs> that one's still sitting there, so let's get that one in, in position. You could use mini glue dots. I'm just going to put this on and hold it there for a second. Just got to hold it there for a second. It just takes a tiny bit longer to, to stick because the vellum's a bit, you know, vellum-y. I like that it sticks up a bit too. Now where did I have this one? Because <laughs> I liked where I had it. <laughs> I just threw it off the thing accidentally. No, I think it must have been around that way. I think it must have been that way. That looks right, doesn't it? I don't want that bit sticking up there. I wanted it down. I'll have to put some glue in this to, to hold it in place. And you can use the fine glue as well. There's a fine tip glue. I might put it on there. I'm feeling I have to thread this through here. This could be a... Maybe, maybe not. May just have to stay there. Anyway, we'll work on that in a second. Alright, let's put a bit of glue here. I've just noticed I've missed a couple of pieces here. Whoops. Shake them out. I've got them all.
sing a song while you hold your glue down. <laughs> I love these things, the way they stick up. Now if you, you like things to stick down, you can use the adhesive sheets to stick on the back of your card or vellum before you cut it out. And then it'll stick the whole lot down. But I wanted it to stick up a bit like this. I like that. So I'm not putting a heap of glue on here. I'm just putting like four just to hold it down. And once it sticks, it will stay there. Just have to hold it down a little bit to get it in place. We could add a little bit more maybe around there. Should make it a little bit under there. Just to hold that one down a bit flatter. We'll need a blue dot on our B. So here they fit on there really nicely, look. I'm going to have you flying down towards the flower. I'm just going to stick my little flower in there. I might put that up on a dimension. Got one dimensional left. <laughs> it's not true, I've got a whole packet. But on that packet I've only got one. I'll put some glue on the back of this to hold the ribbon in place. And I'll put some of the clear glue, uh, the this one, fine tip glue, but that takes longer to dry. So I'll put a bit of that on the top of it all so that it holds it. I'm going to take the thing off the... Don't forget to take this off. Hold your flower up nicely. I think that'll be alright with that bit sticking up there. Just pull this one through the back there. See that's gone loose already. because it's that sort of twine. It's very hard to get a tight bow in it. Alright, that'll do. Lid on the glue and I'll just use some of this one. So this one has a little needle thing, pin thing that goes down into the fine tip. And this will have to dry for a while. So I'll just bring that with a squeeze. And I've put a bit on there and that'll dry clear. And that will hold that bow together. But yeah, I'll do that last because I don't want to fiddle with that once I've put that glue on. You won't even see it. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Right, do we need anything else? Anybody need anything else on there? Oh, you're all good. Put your lid back on your pick, pick tool. Good idea. Put your tools away. You can find them again. Alright, so that was Elegant Tim Bumblebee Trinkets. And I'll finish those other cards tomorrow. That was good fun, wasn't it? Do you like doing that? Where did my other card go? Here it is up here. <laughs> Where did it go? Here we go, look. Finished a few things. Oh, it's only 10 18. Oh. <laughs> and I'm all crooked. Hang on, let's straighten us up. Try it. 
try anyway. I'll try to straighten myself up. It's always a challenge. Get everything out of the way. Right, so these are new ones coming out in the new catalogue. So if you've got your catalogues already, you'll be able to find those in there under the sun prints. I'm really happy with those. Lovely. And the Simply Elegant trim, I'll just look that up before we go. Because I don't know if they're carrying that over. Trim. So when you're doing a search in the website, you can just search on one word, but it has to be an exact word. So if you put an extra letter on the end and it's not there, it won't find it. So the word trim comes up with Simply Elegant trim, $13. And I'll just check in my new catalogue. Make sure it's in there. See if it is in there. It might still be in the website like that because it was in the mini. I'll just find my... I just can't show you the new catalogue on online. Bling. I've got bling. <laughs> bling and ribbon. Um, Yep, they're carrying it over, so that's good. Simply, uh, simply elegant trim. So that will still be available, which is fantastic. That's thirteen dollars for a little. You get a two in the packet like that. So they're really nice. Cool. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, thank you, everybody. And thanks for your help. Really appreciate that. So I didn't actually get to stamp some more of these, but you get the drift. On the blank one, you can stamp your own bits on the vellum. So I'm looking forward to playing with that a bit more. Here we go. Alrighty, I'll catch you next time. Ciao.